Hey family, it's your girl Yo-Yo from Dynamic Designs by Yo-Yo. And today we're going to be doing a cute, quick Dollar Tree personalized gift that you can give. We are going to turn these Dollar Tree car air fresheners, y'all see that, into this. All right, so if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, family, so we're going to be making these Dollar Tree air fresheners, these personalized Dollar Tree air fresheners using Cricut Design Space. And the reason I use Cricut Design, Cricut Design Space, I'm sorry, is because I don't want to, I am one of those people who, I do not like to cut anything out by hand. I just don't. I can barely cut a straight line, so I prefer to use my Cricut when I am cutting anything out. So we are at Cricut Design Space, and as you notice, on the screen, there are already two pictures, right? These are two pictures that I made. I made one for my daughter um, with my granddaughter, and I made one for my son uh, for Father's Day with a picture of him and his and his daughter on it. And I'm just going to... Um, enlarge it just so you can see the picture a little better. Okay, so you can use any picture that you want to um, make these car air fresheners. And so this is the one of my my son and his daughter that I made for Father's Day. And this is one for my daughter that I made with her and my granddaughter. And I'm going to give this one to her for her birthday because her birthday um, is this month. My daughter's birth. Well, actually both of them. My granddaughter's birthday is um, this month and so is my daughter's. So I'm going to give this to her um, in celebration of both of their birthdays. Okay. So what you're going to do is, re well, let me show you. The first thing I did was, let me resize these first. So the size that you will need for these pictures to fit on the air freshener is 1.3 is going to be the width and then the height will be 1.9. So what I'm going to do is go here to the proportions um, button, the lock proportions button. I'm going to unlock that and I'm going to um, change the size of the picture. 1.3. Uh, and the height will be 1.9. Okay, so that is the size that you will need. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And I'm going to, I am actually printing a couple of pictures because I plan to give these to a couple of family members. Um, the picture that I showed you in the beginning of the video, that is a picture of my cousin who recently passed away. So I sent one of them to my uncle, whose birthday also happens to be um, this month, the month of July. So I sent him one for his birthday. Uh, he and my, actually my uncle and my granddaughter's birthdays are on the same day. So yeah, so we got a lot to celebrate in the month of July. So what I'm going to do is show you how I uploaded the picture. Let me close this lock proportions button first so I, so I don't lose the size of my photos. And I'm going to upload um, another picture that I'm also going to print out. So let me find, let me find this picture um, from my recent uploads because I uploaded it recently. And so here's the picture that I'm going to be using. I'm going to add this picture to the canvas and go back to my canvas. And as you can see, the picture. So as I said before, you can use any picture that you like. And so I am going to give this one to my husband for Father's Day. This is a picture of my daughter again and my husband. So what I did was I went to images. Um, I'm sorry, I went to phrases because I wanted to add the Happy Father's Day. So I went to phrases, Cricut Design Space, went to phrases, and I just typed in Happy Father's Day. And as you can see, it's already down here because this is what I typed in before. So I'm just going to click on that. 
And I'm just going to choose one that says Happy Father's Day. I'm, I'm going to try and find the same one that I used previously. But you don't have to use the one that I used. You don't have to um, make these for Father's Day. You could actually make them for, excuse me, these are what I call a any occasion little uh token that you can give to someone and who doesn't need uh um who doesn't need a air freshener in their car so this is a gift that you can always use because who doesn't need one um so as you can see the the when i added it to cricket design space it's really big so all you want to do is just take it you know size it to um your liking and so I'm gonna size it to my liking I am going to change the color to white okay so I just went up here to basic operation where it says basic cut right beside that is a small box and I'm just gonna click on that box and choose the color white and change it to white you see I've changed it to white now you know, I got to be a little extra because that's who I am. I'm just a little extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a offset to this um, because my husband is a Cowboys fan. You know, he loves the color blue. And so I'm just going to add a small, you know, very small offset. Um, this offset, you don't have to. You could add an offset. You don't have to. You can just put the picture on uh, I mean I'm sorry put the put it on just as it is or you don't have to put anything on it you could just print the picture out whatever floats your boat okay but I hit apply and then I'm gonna change that offset to blue again going back up here to operation to the box right beside where it says basic cut I'm gonna click on the color blue and bam there we go so what I'm going to do is move this picture out of the way just a little bit and I am going to group this happy father's day with the offset and, and then just hit that group button. Okay. Again, I'm going to put this happy father's day on top of the picture. Where I want, just you know, doesn't matter, you can put it anywhere you want, and then what I'm going to do is uh, select the entire thing and I am going to flatten it, okay? And you see how cute that offset looks once you flatten it, and I am now going to change the size because, in order to get it on the car air freshener. It has to be 1.3. Remember I said that before. So let me hit this lock on proportions button. And it needs to be the width is 1.3. And the height is 1.9. All right. Now that we have our pictures, um, we're going to go ahead and print them out. I am printing these out on my HP. Yeah, I have an HP um, inkjet printer, and that's what I'm going to be using. I hesitated because I forget what kind of, I got so many printers in here, I forget which one. But anyway, I'm going to use that one. And I had already made some pictures previously. So I don't like the waste paper. I am going to um, print these out, print these other pictures out as well. So, yeah. Well, I had already made one, but we're not going to use that one. So, yes, as I said before, I don't like the waste paper. So I am going to print out all of these together. And then I'm going to cut them out with my Cricut and I'll come back and show you how we assemble these onto your car air freshener. Now, don't leave because I am also, well, you know what, 
before we do that, I'm, let me show you how I made my own packaging for the car air fresheners. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, family, so what I wanted to do with these car air fresheners as well is to make my own packaging, right? So what I did was I took a picture of the back of the car air freshener as you can see here, this is, that's exactly what this is. So for future reference, if you ever want to make your own, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, template. If you ever want to make your own template, just take a picture of it and upload it uh, to Cricut Design Space or whatever software that you're using. You can, you can make a template pretty much out of anything. So that's what I did with this one. I made, I took a picture of the back of the packaging and I uploaded it. And then what I did was I measured it. Now the measuring, I'm not very good at measuring. So my measuring may be a little bit off. But I measured it to be about 3.1 by 5.8. That was the packaging. So now what I'm going to do it to duplicate this template. I am going to click on shapes. And I am going to choose the shape that is most like. The back of the packaging and so this is the shape I chose and all I'm going to do is reshape now you could do this two ways you can put it over your template and then you can um, size it that way which is what I'm doing here okay or as I said before I measured it to be about 3.1 by 5.8 and so just you can do the same here just choose your shape and then change the size into 3.1 is the width 5.8 is the undo the unlock proportions again and the height will be 5.8 okay and if it's a little office okay it's just, you know you don't have to be absolutely perfect um, but you do want to make sure that you're able to add the plastic square that comes on the front of the packaging um, back to your square that you're making to duplicate that packaging okay and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about when we get there but this is what i did and so also i just took another shape i took a circle because i wanted to duplicate this hole now I'm not trying to make this, you know, exactly like the hole that's in the packaging, but I just wanted to at least, you know, make it look cute. Okay. And so what I did was I took the, took a circle and I put the circle right over my template. Okay. And try to make it at least as close to the size of the hole that's on the packaging so that it will be close to the same size on um the shape that i am using okay so just take that shape take that circle back over and then what you want to do is you want to highlight your entire shape and the circle and then you want to hit you want to click on it a ring i'm sorry you want to click on a line click on a line and you want to center your circle so that it's right in the middle of your shape okay so then what you're also going to do is then you're going to highlight it again and then you're going to go over here to layers and go down all the way to the bottom and hit that slice button hit slice and if your computer is slow like mine, my Cricut Design Space is going to take a second. Um, but you hit that slice button. And now you can delete the parts that you don't need because you want to leave a hole here. The goal is to have a hole. So you want to delete that first slice result and then delete the second slice result. And you are left with your square. I am going to be using gold paper, gold 65 pound cardstock is what I'm using. So 
Um, you can use any kind you like. You don't have to use that same kind. I'm using 65 pound cardstock. I don't need this um, template anymore. So now I am going to just um, take that out of view on Crooked Design Space. So the last thing, I, and I'm going to change it to gold. Just change the color to gold because that's what I'm using. Um, that's the color cardstock that I'm using. So there's just one for you know my purpose only then lastly what i did was i added a let me see i added a um sticker to the top just you know again me being extra just wanted to do something cute okay you don't have to do this part but what i did was i added a little sticker i went to again went to images as you saw before and i typed in um car and i just picked the car that i liked i think it was this one add it to canvas i kind of and as you can see, it comes really big, but I just kind of stretched it out. Okay. Um, added the words air freshener. So let me see if I can show you guys what I did with that. So I'm going to click on the one. That I, I'm going to unflatten this just so I can show you guys how I did it. Okay. So yeah, what I did was I just took the car. I just found this shape. Okay. And I just um added this sticker right on top of it. You can find these stickers in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole sticker process, but you can find this shape in this um in this stick on Cricut Design Space. And what I did was added an offset and let me see if I can ungroup this as well show you guys how I did this too okay <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry okay all right so I found the car um and I just added this box, okay, underneath. Found this text. This is banana shake, uh, the text that I use. I added it to the box, okay. I'm going to delete this card because we don't need that. Because um, I showed you where I got it from. Took this shape from shapes and... Highlighted it and grouped it. Okay. Then I took the shape. I'm going to delete this to show you what I did. Took the shape and just added an offset. It wasn't a real big offset. Added an offset. Apply. And then, um, Kept it black, grouped that together, and then, I'm sorry, highlighted again, I'm sorry, because you want to group the entire thing together. Group that together, and then I flagged it, because it's going to be a sticker, and I all I want to do is print this and um, cut the outer edges, okay? I'm going to take this sticker and when I make my packaging, I'm just going to put the sticker on top right here on top of my packaging. Okay. Um, so this is the final product. So I have my packaging, I have my sticker and then, um, and my pictures I'm going to be printing out. So I'm going to do all of this at the same time. So let's, I don't need that. That's the packaging. Okay. 
Here we have my pictures that I'm going to be printing out. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I got a little cold. Or I mean, my allergies have really been just bothering me. Okay. Trying to find my pictures. So, once I find my pictures, I will come back and Okay, family, so now I have my, let me see if I can make this screen a little smaller so you can see it. Okay, so now I have my packaging, and I have the four pictures that I am going to print out, okay? And so I'm now going to hit go here and hit make it. And I will be using... I don't want that one. I am going to be using eight and a half by 11 paper for, and what I'm using is sticker paper. So I'm going to be using sticker paper and for the, excuse me, let me go back. I'm going to use sticker paper for the pictures and the air freshener labels. And then for the packaging, I am going to be using gold cardstock, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these out using my Cricut Maker, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how I assemble the packaging. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, family. So now I have my picture printed out. This is the picture that I'm using, okay? They're cute, ain't they? Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Yes, my babies are cute. Okay, so this is the picture. This is what the car freshener looks like in the package. So you have to take this apart. Oh, I also forgot that you're going to need some double-sided tape. And this is the car stock after I cut it all out. Okay, the gold car stock. And here's my sticker that I'm going to be using. Okay. So in order to do this, you do have to take the cover off and you just want to be careful taking the cover off because you don't want to rip the cover that's the only thing you don't need this the back of the packaging remember i only use the back of the packaging for a, as a template the reason why you want to make sure that you're careful when you take the plastic off is because you're going to run this under some water. Now, I wasn't going to show you all all of that part, okay? But you're going to run this under some water, and you're going to scrape this part off. Now, it will come off. It's going to take you a little... I had to use my fingernail, baby, and scrape, 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 okay? But it will come off. And you're also going to remove the front part of the packaging, Okay? You're going you're gonna to take the front part of the packaging off. When you peel this front part off, you might be left with a little residue. You can either hit that with a heat gun or what I did was I just took the same sticker that I used, that I took off of the packaging. And I just did that until I got all of the sticky part off, okay? So that's what you're going to do with this. Then, as I said, you're going to run this under some hot water, and you're going to be scraping this with your fingernail. It's going to take a minute, okay? So don't think it's something that's going to happen, like, immediately, okay? Once you've done that, then you're going to end up with this. You see this plastic packaging? And, baby, let me warn you, okay? It does take a minute. I, I think I want to say it took me about eight minutes, maybe, to get the the sticky part off, um, to get this yeah to get this off, um, to scrape that stuff off. But listen, you can do it. All right. So then, now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our picture and just place it on the air freshener. Okay. And I'm gonna find the name of the person that I got this from. Um, I actually saw this on TikTok and I was like, oh, this is so cute. 
Um, so if you go to my TikTok page, Dynamic Designs by Yo-Yo, you'll see I give her um, credit in the video that I posted on how to do this. Because I thought this, again, I thought this was a real cute idea. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just put it on there. I use sticker paper. Um, and I use Koala sticker paper. Let me get the paper and I'll show, show it to you real quick. So this is the paper that I use, okay? And I use this kind, but I would suggest that you use a sticker paper that's not gonna smudge because I think my, my sticker ended up smudging a little bit, okay? So that's the paper that I use, Koala sticker paper. And you just put it on here like this, okay? Isn't that pretty? Oh, that came out. Let me put it up close. That came out so cute so y'all can see it. Look at that. <laughs> and it's just a car air freshener. Yeah, I did smell it. Yes, they, and they smell good. Okay. And the reason you want to package this back real quick once you've done it is to make sure you don't lose the smell from the air freshener. Now, how long the smell is going to last? I don't know. It was a dollar, the Dollar Tree, okay? So it's not like we, um, you know, and see how that's going to fit right on there. That's, that's just so cute. Okay, so we're going to take our sticker, our air freshener sticker, and we're going to put that at the top. Of, and it's close and in the middle you know I'm just going to eyeball it in the middle and as close as possible to that to the hole that I put at the top okay and then we're going to just take some take this double sided tape and put it on the edges and you don't have, I use double-sided tape cut because it's clear. Um, you can use it if you want to use a different kind of tape, that's fine. Maybe you don't even want to use tape. Maybe you want to use some, some glue. Um, just be mindful that this is clear. So that's why I use this double-sided tape. And so if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, I just want to say thank you for visiting me. Um, I would be even more thankful if you hit that subscribe button and the notifications button for when I post more videos. If you like crafting as much as I do, or you just coming to check some things out or get an idea to do something. You know, it's, it's always more ways to do something. You don't always have to do it the same way I do it. You can take an idea that I've shown you and make it your own. Um, but yeah, hit that subscribe button. Share the video with your friends. Leave a comment. Um, you know, let me know if you like it. You didn't like it. Um, you got a suggestion. Or if you actually try this yourself, let me know. Let me know. Show, uh, show, uh, uh, post a pic showing me how yours turned out. And so, like I said, I'm just going to be taking off this double-sided tape. I'm making sure to put it all the way around. I got this double-sided tape also from the Dollar Tree. So... This project, what, cost me a dollar for the, du the double-sided tape, um, a piece of sticker paper, and you can make, you could put at least 10 of these probably on one sheet of paper. And so we're just going to put that string, try to put that string in there. 
the best we can. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just something that says, hey, I was thinking about you. I just made you a little something, something, a little personalized. Um, Y'all see I'm struggling with this little string. I'm just going to hide it behind here. And then you put this down on and try to just put it on. So this on the packaging and bam, there we go. All the way around and look at what we got us. Air freshener, personalized air freshener with a picture of your choice. I'm gonna try to get this ring light out of it so you guys can see it better. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me I want to turn this ring light off. Oh, damn. I don't know how. I left the... Oh, shoot. Let's turn the light down. But anyway. Um, I hope you guys can see that. You see how cute that turned out? And so you can make this yourself, like I said. Um, if you decide to, leave a comment. Show me a picture um, of how yours turned out. And so if you like this kind of content, um, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Check me out on TikTok, Dynamic Designs by Yo-Yo on TikTok. I'm also on Facebook, Dynamic Designs by Yo-Yo. So yeah, check me out. I'm going to try to give you guys another look at this um, car air freshener without the ring light. So hold on for a second. Okay, family. So this is a better look at how the air freshener turned out. And as you can see, they are, this is so pretty. This is so cute. And she can hang this up in her car and it smells good. Um, and so if you like this kind of content, if you like crafting and you want to see more crafts like this, then hit like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. I appreciate you allowing me to show you how to make a new craft today. And until the next time, y'all be blessed.